You know, we have in every round of golf those putts that we say are makeable putts, and yet we miss them. And you know what I'm talking about. It's seven or eight feet, it's relatively straight, doesn't have much break, and you're thinking, man, I should make this. I'm going to make this one. And then you don't. And all of the sudden, we're like Happy Gilmore, throwing our putter and breaking our putter and screaming at the ball. We totally lost it. Or if we manage to keep control, we're still so frustrated in here that we miss the next putt and we three putt. Well, today I'm going to give you some Jedi mind tricks to help prevent that from happening. Three things that we got to deal with here on these makeable putts that we often miss. First thing is we've got to accept a couple of facts, and then I'm going to give you a mental exercise to do at home away from the course, and then a mental routine to do while you're on the course. First, the facts. We think, oh, this putt's a short putt, seven or eight feet, it's makeable. No, 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 no. All putts are makeable. That's fact number one. You've made a 50 or 60 footer, most likely at some point. Maybe you think you got lucky or whatever, but doesn't matter the length or distance of the putt. They're all makeable. Maybe it's a low percentage, but they're all makeable. That's fact number one. You've got to get that into your mind. Fact number two, any putt is missable. You can miss any putt. Even a short one, you can miss a putt even when you stroke it perfectly. I put on the channel before and on videos, I put out before videos of folks using one of those putting rail systems, dropping the ball so that it's going the same exact line, same exact speed, and they'll drop four or five balls and two will go in, two will miss to the left and one will miss to the right. Any putt is missable and any putt is makeable. You've got to accept those two facts or you're gonna be frustrated as a putter. Your only job is to line up, make a read, commit to a line, make a good stroke. That's it, that's all you can do. One of the things you have to realize is these seven, eight foot putts that we think are makeable, and they are makeable, but on the PGA Tour, once you go, once you get to eight feet, the make percentage gets below 50%. These are the guys who have the best equipment in the world. They've got putting coaches. They play golf every day. They practice putting two hours a day, and they're only making 50% from this seven, eight foot, quote unquote, makeable putts. Give yourself permission to miss a makeable putt. You can make a perfect stroke. It doesn't always go in. Now let's talk about to help you get a better attitude and make more of these makeable putts. Here's what you need to do. This is an exercise to do away from the golf course at home. And it's pretty simple. You sit down in a comfortable place where it's quiet, there's not any distractions. Close your eyes and do some deep breaths. I like to take, put the tongue against the roof of my mouth Count to four, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Take a big deep breath, four seconds. Hold it for four seconds and then breathe it out. Do five, maybe six of those. Then with your eyes closed, imagine yourself out on the golf course. You're standing over one of those putts that's seven, maybe eight feet, it's one of those that you think you should make. You line up, you make a good stroke, and you're seeing all of this in your mind. You see your playing partners on the green with you, you see the course, you, you even if you really are focused and relaxed, you can feel the, the air and the breeze and hear the sounds of the birds and all of that. Make it just like you're on the course. And you make a good stroke at that makeable putt, and it misses just a little bit to the right, goes three feet past the hole. It's important that it goes three feet past the hole because now immediately you're gonna see yourself walking up, marking your ball, and then lining up, putting your ball down, 
making that three foot putt dead in the center of the cup and you do that every time. Now you'll visualize this three or four times, take you 10, maybe 15 minutes to go through this mental exercise and then you're done. That's the exercise that you do away from the course at home. A couple of things about this exercise. You don't want to do it all of the time. Do it a couple of times this week and then again three, four, maybe six months from now. Do it a couple of times and again. You don't want to do it all the time because you don't want to get in the habit of visualizing yourself missing putts. The second thing that you have to remember is the purpose of this exercise is to condition your mind for the fact that you don't always make them. They don't always go in the hole. You can make a good putt and it misses, but you want to condition and train your mind not to be upset, not to lose focus, to put that miss behind you and immediately go to that next putt, that three footer that you went three feet past. That's why it's important to go three feet past because it's not a gimme, it gets your attention. You've got to focus on that. And to line up over that one, make a good stroke and put it in the hole. Now that's an exercise you do rarely and at home away from the golf course. Now let's talk about a mental routine that you want to use on every putt, every time you play. The first one is you've got to convince yourself this is makeable. They're all makeable putts. You know, this one is kind of long and it's got some break and it's going to be a difficult putt, but I've made this kind of putt before and it can go in the hole. And so I'm going to make a good read, pick a target, make a good stroke and get it to the hole. Maybe it'll go in. That's the first thing. You go through that attitude as you're walking around reading your putt. You're thinking that. Sometimes it's okay to even say that to yourself out loud. Not screaming it to your playing partners, but just internally in a little internal dialogue with yourself. Nice and calm and quiet. Putt. Now the second thing is give your brain a target to shoot at. Like you read the putt. You pick an intermediate point that says, I want to start the ball on that line and roll it over that putt. And then visualize, and sometimes I close my eyes when I'm on the course, other times I don't. But see that putt rolling on that line, taking the break that you think it's going to, br to break, and rolling into the hole. See it going into the cup, and a lot of times I'll use that quiet voice like I did a moment ago, and I'm saying to myself, okay, I'll say to myself while I'm lining up on the putt, okay, this is eight feet, it's uphill, very tiny break right to left, I'm going to start it on the right edge, there's my intermediate point, I'm going to roll it over that, hit it firm enough to go 12 or 18 pinches, inches past the hole, it's going to go up that line, break a little bit, dead in the center of the cup. I'll say that to myself, visualize it in my mind, giving my brain a target to shoot at. Then I line up and make the putt. Third thing, on the green every time, eliminate the negative talk. I have friends, I play with the friends who they'll hit a good shot and get on the green and they'll be like, well, you know, I can three putt from anywhere. No, shut the hell up with that. Your attitude when you're on the golf course is, I can make anything from anywhere. And I know there's that new phrase that a lot of people use, that you know, bird ogey. It's three putting and going from a birdie shot to a bogey. Take that out of your vocabulary. Your attitude when you're on the green is seeing that ball go in that hole and making that putt, making a good stroke. Next thing, what your focus is, is making a good stroke let the ball go in the hole. And if it doesn't go into the hole, if it misses, that's okay. That's in the past. That's gone. Just like the exercise that you did at home, your mental focus is the next putt, putting it in the back of the cup. Last thing in this routine that you have on the green, and that is make your routine so routine, it's a routine. Here's what I mean by that. If you're standing over the ball and you're thinking you've got this mental checklist, okay, I got this and then this and then this and then this, 
you can't focus you're distracting your brain from the target you gave it to shoot at from the task at hand which is rolling the ball in the hole i know a lot of you guys don't like the practice but you have to practice enough to get to the place where your routine is just automatic i don't have to think about my routine when i go to putt because i practice enough and i play enough i know I set up the same way every time. I grip the club the same way every time. The thought process is the same on every putt, and I'm just making a good stroke. It's routine. It's automatic. It's not taking a lot of time, and it's not stiff and scripted. Get into a routine that becomes routine. Do it that way on the course every time. Give your brain a target to shoot at. You'll make a lot more of these short, makeable putts. So that's it. Away from the course, focus on and do the exercise on allowing a seven or eight footer, a makeable putt to miss, and you immediately put that behind you and step up and finish out the three footer. On the course, realize any putt is makeable. Focus on giving your brain a target to shoot at, making a good stroke, letting the ball do what it does, and immediately putting a missed putt in the past. You don't think about it, you don't dwell on it, your focus becomes going to the next putt. That's why I said a lot of times it's good to go mark your ball. Try this, put in the comments how it worked out for you. You'll find yourself making a lot more of those makeable putts. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, here's to you making more putts.